Hello everybody, I'm Cody, Program Manager for Visual Studio for Mac. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Visual Studio for Mac by using NuGet with your projects. Let's get started. I'm going to click on New Project and create a new Xamarin Forms project. So click on Multi Platform, App, Blank Forms App. I'm going to name it Mobile App, select my target platforms, and my shared code technology. This all looks fine, so I'm going to click Next and then again click Create. Now the project is created, let's add some packages. I'm going to expand the Dependencies folder under the Mobile App Share project, and notice this says NuGet. By clicking on NuGet will allow me to add packages. Here, you have a list of all the different packages available to you. There's several things you can do in this view. You can search, you can select pre-release packages, and you can add packages to your project. You can also select specific versions. In this case, let's add newtonsoft.json to our project, because I'm probably going to have to parse some JSON. Click on the package you want to add, make sure the version is the one you want, and click Add Package. And you can see newtonsoft.json was successfully added. Let's say there's a hot new feature that I want to test. Let's add a preview version. So again, right click on NuGet, hit Add Packages, and select Show Pre-release. Now we can see that some of these packages offer latest versions, including alpha builds. So let's add the latest version of Entity Framework to our project, 6.2.0 Beta 1. Click on the version, click on the package you want to add, and click Add Package. Once again, it's added just like any other version. You might have to accept a license, though. There we go, added to our project. Now, not all the packages you want are going to be available on the main NuGet feed. Some packages may be on custom feeds, such as MyGit or an internal NuGet repository. So I'm going to show you how to add a custom feed to your project. To do this, I'm going to add the Xamarin.Forms MyGit preview package repository. I already have Xamarin Forms Nightly pull, pulled up. So here, I'm going to click on this and hit Copy Link. Back in Visual Studio, Go to Visual Studio, Preferences, navigate down to the NuGet section and click on Sources. Here I can click Add, give it a good name, and paste in the location or folder. If you have a folder on your network share, you can add that as well. But since this is a URL, let's just paste that in. Here we click on Add Source. Now we see that Forms Preview is available in the Preferences pane. Go ahead and click OK, and now let's see what we have there. Once again, let's go back to NuGet and click on Add Package. Here, you now have a drop-down where you can select which source you want to pull from. You can also configure sources here if you want to add another source. Let's click on the Forms Preview that we just added. It's going to load the package list, which gives us a whole list of all the custom packages on this feed. Once again, if this is an enterprise environment and you have a custom NuGet feed, you would see your custom packages here. Let's go ahead and add the nightly build of Xamarin.Forms. As it's adding to our project, please keep in mind there are several ways to access NuGet. Let's accept this license. You can also go to Project, Add NuGet Packages, Update NuGet, or Restore NuGet Packages. Furthermore, if you expand NuGet, you can see all the packages that are involved in your project. Here, you see the version numbers as well. You can also update them if needed. Adding NuGet to your project and adding packages from NuGet can really extend the capabilities that you're working with. Also, adding your enterprise environment can make sure that all the packages that you need are available to you. In this video, I showed you how to add new packages to your project and add a new NuGet feed to your solution. Please stay tuned for more videos in the series. Thank you.